Hey everyone, this is Dark X and welcome back to Parasite Eve. Let's do this. Alright. I'll bring the car around, meet me at the front. Alright. I'll meet you at the front. I don't know if there's I'm gonna talk to this guy. Yes, P huh? Well I'm not buying it. Alright. Huh? Oh, come on, dude. You do it. Okay. Seriously, I have to go the other way around to get around this dude. Whatever. Yes, I will. Okay. I think we go out this door. like the receptionist. What a, what a case to have on Christmas, eh? Thanks, Eddie. You're swell, pal. Alright. Well, I guess to the museum. To the museum. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Haynes Clump, Clumple, Clample will be there. Dr. Clamp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. I looked up how to pronounce that. It was Mito? No. Mitochondria. Mitochondria. Something. But it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd to have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, it's pretty antisocial and he doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh great. I'm gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, well, that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Wonder why Daniel didn't get the promotion. American Museum of Natural History. There's a chocobo. It says Chocobo. Oh, I gotta hit the button. I'm like, okay, well, I've just been around the building. It's been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Love these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see if what the security guard has for us. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay, pretty cold day though. How about yourself? Well, we're with the NYPD. We're looking for Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in this room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you, it shouldn't take long. Do you do some nosy old man? Jeez. Place is pretty creepy with... Okay, you'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. I'm going to stand inside this gate. He's pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out ever. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, could you sign in its policy and let's keep track of who comes in? Thanks, eh? Gee, Daniel, you sure don't want to run down here and do it yourself. 
Notebooks on the counter, thanks. Right, sign that. Just my name? Yep, that should be enough unless you want to leave your number two. Ha ha ha. Old man's hitting on. Hitting on her. Did I sign it? Uh, I'm assuming I did. Okay. Up we go. Hey, I. Over here. Coming. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. The bait's dead. Excuse me. Hello. Hey. Dr. Dr. Clamp. There's something wrong with your computer. Dr. Clamp. I hear you. We're within my PD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Hmm. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? This again? What is this? This man. I, I know him, I think. It's very bright. What's wrong? You okay? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, eh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that their mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect united people... United, united everyone. Ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Ha <laughs> ha. You two have absolutely no idea what true mitochondria is like, do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates everything for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between exons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know that mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustion from last night's were... Dot dot dot. For a human to burn and melt, a 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundreds of mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in, the, in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> You have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before you are born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when your cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is in initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production levels decrease. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, 
Are you still stupid enough to say we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than a normal cell, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise that it possesses the power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Dot dot dot. Let me tell you something. There's a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. When this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human industry ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world, and with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? The suspect yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better be not holding back on this. She called herself Eve. Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. Well, I guess we'll head back to Carnegie Hall. Do 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 Back to Carnegie Hall. Got my gun out. I can. I'll tell you, my holidays are ruined because of this. They better give me extra vacation days for this. What are you doing here? What do you have to say? Saw you on TV or from the 17th pretty, uh, precinct. Uh, aren't you? You're the one that survived. He's got a stutter. Hey, you can't just come bodging in here. You ain't getting no special treatment. Um... See you then, I guess. Well, should we go back to the museum at night? It's night now, or should we go back to the... Let's try going back to the museum. I don't know if we should go back at night or not. Maybe just go back to the NYPD place. I'm all alone. I don't got Daniel with me. Hmm, I guess we'll just head back to the police station. Alright, back to the police station it is. Oh. What in the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Hold on to your butts. Alright, looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station. I right, hold hang on. I'm kicking this into turbo. Not like we're going fast enough already. New York City Police Department headquarters.
Hello, information lady. The whole place is going nuts. Wonder what happened. I don't know. I'm guessing we go through here, because this is where everybody else stands around and says they don't believe me. What is it, Mr. Bold Man? Hey, we have an emergency meeting in the conference room. Uh, in the conference room, okay. Well, let's get out of here, because the conference room was... Down here. Where Daniel is standing. Let's go, folks. All right, Daniel. This door, right? <laughs> yeah. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was cancelled, but people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine! They're at that concert. What? Daniel! Screw you, Baker! My son's in danger! Daniel! Oh yeah. Holy shit. I'm going. Oh, I gotta touch you. Watch his back. Yes, sir. Here's another mod per here's another mod permit. Ah, ah, ah. I'm coming, Daniel. Oh, Daniel. I'm coming. Ah. I don't know if I should put the mod permit on. Or if I should wait. Eh, let's wait. I don't see a really means to put it on right now. I don't have anything to put on it. Ah, Daniel, son, and Lorraine. Doom, 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 doom. Whoa! Slow it down, speed racer. When the hell does Melissa or no Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Damn! And that's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. What do 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 do? I'm guessing it's a manual. I don't really know. Central Park. But in Daniel, stop. I've got to get my done, my boy, Rookie. Whoa, holy shit. Sometimes you got to look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but, I'll get them out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. Alright. I'm counting on you, I... I know. Lone Ranger going out on my own. I equipped my yeah my M16. Looks like I'm holding a handgun. 
Oh, there it is. That snake. Yeah. Yeah, take that ammo. That was good to have. Right. Assuming I go this way. I like this music. It's really catchy. To the gate. Going into the zoo. I see the amphitheaters inside the zoo. An M9 handgun. I didn't really look at the stats. got a lot of slots for upgrades and stuff. Uh oh, we got pigeons. Mean birds. Kaching. I don't know what that was. I think it was bullets again. Uh, there's a door over here. Let's see if we can go through it. A lot of transitions in this place. We can. And there's a dead dude. Eve was here. SP Vest 1 Super Vest I open the drawers no. Let's check out this vest real quick Well, it's just all around better than the thing I'm wearing Sweet Got lucky finding that vest Uh oh. We got monsters. Alright, I gotta go all the way to hell over here to fight it. What is that? A monkey with a gigantic arm? Or uh, is that a banana? I do believe it is a monkey. What a, what a scary looking monkey, man. Let's take that, monkey. Booyah! Alright. Anyway, before we were rudely interrupted by that monkey, let's head toward this double door. Okay, it's the reptile place. Uh, what? You need a key. Okay, we need a key to get in here. Okay, let's go back out, because we need a key to get into the reptile place. Monkeys and birds. There's a damn boomerang on him. I a dang boomerang. Oh. Take this monkey. Can't take one of the junks. More bullets. Uh, let's see what's over here.
get over here. The lion statue over here. This place is huge. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and use the medicine. If I eat, use too many medicines, I'll end up like Melissa. Okay. Oh, this place is gigantic. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just kind of going. I know where I'm heading next. Medicine too. Oh man. Is it Hill ninety? Yeah, Fifteen ammo. So those just make circles over there. So we need to go this way. But it's all dead end circles. on here. Is that what's in the box as a tool? Okay, I need a key for that door. I walked all the way around, I didn't see anything. Back this way. Right, let's start the zoo. It's got to be in here somewhere. I'm, I, I had to have just missed it. I must have just missed it. Something I can think of. Two monkeys. Australian monkeys. Let's 
scared there. Alright. Medicine 2 is 90. Use it. I think this is the only direction I didn't go. What in the hell? Are the turtles or something? Am I poisoned? Line statue. It is that one line statue. Nothing behind the line statue is there. Doesn't seem to be. And what was this way? Oh yeah, the gate was over here. I never went through this gate. Aha! I need a key. Ah, okay. Well, we'll go ahead and end it there. Um, I'll probably find the key and then start recording again, but for now we're going to go ahead and end this and see if we can't figure out the mystery in Central Park and get Daniel's boy back. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.